Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today, let's talk about using a character preamp with your audio interface. Now, most audio interfaces are designed to have very transparent and linear preamps. They're designed to deliver the most neutral sound possible, and that's great for so many different sources. It gives you a lot of detail. It gives you an accurate representation of what you're tracking. But in other cases, you want to sort of add some character to those instruments and voices that you're capturing. And that's where a character preamp can really be useful. It's one of the reasons why when you go into a pro studio, they'll have an array of different preamps because each one sounds a little bit different. But just adding one preamp with a touch of character to it can really liven up your recordings because it provides a great contrast to the transparent recordings that you're capturing using your audio interface. Character preamps accomplish this by using a different sort of a circuit. Typically, a character preamp will have a transformer in the circuit, which can really color things. It might have tubes in the circuit. There might be specific ways that it's configured to add more punch, more warmth, more depth. Even more grit and distortion can be a desirable thing, depending on what you're tracking. You'll often find character preamps used when you're recording electric guitar because it can add that extra bit of, again, warmth and depth and, and just grit to the signal that can be so desirable. We also use character preamps with drums, we use them with vocals, with pretty much any instrument. But those types of things are the things where you're going to see character preamps often used. Now one thing I do want to say, with a character preamp, it's not like you're getting a night and day difference in the sound. You're still going to get a clear, accurate representation of the signal that you're capturing. It's just going to give you a little bit extra flavor. Again, maybe that uh, overused word warmth would be one way to characterize it, or more punch, or more drive, a little bit of grit. But it's typically pretty subtle. However, that does change depending on how much gain you're adding using the preamp. With a transparent preamp, like the one that's in an audio interface, as you turn the gain up, the tone really doesn't change. It stays pretty much the same until you get to the point of distortion, of course. With a character preamp, on the other hand, typically as you turn up the gain, as you increase the output, you'll be adding more character. And that can be very valuable because it means you can really dial in the sound that you want for the source that you're tracking. As far as hooking up and using a character preamp with your audio interface, the process is very simple. Now, many character preamps are going to have an XLR output, but that doesn't mean that you should feed them into a microphone level input. If you do that, you'll typically be overloading the preamp, plus you'll be going through a second preamp when you do that. We want to run into what's called a line level input. Now, that line level input may be an XLR, it may be a quarter inch connection. So you want to be sure that whatever connection you're using, it can actually be set up for line level. Further, there are two types of line level. There's minus 10 dB and there's plus 4 dB. You just want to be sure that level's set properly. The specs for your character preamp and your interface will tell you. But often, it's as simple as just connecting a cable. For example, I've got a Golden Age Pre-73 Mark IV here, and I'm running it into a Scarlet 4i4 Gen 4 interface. I simply came out of the XLR output of the Pre-73, routed it into one of the line inputs on the back of the 4i4. Super simple. One other thing to watch out for. With some audio interfaces, even when you connect to a line level input, you'll still be going through the preamp. That may or may not be desirable depending on what you're after. So often what you'll look for is an audio interface that allows you to have a completely separate line level input from that microphone preamp input. And that is the case with the Focusrite Scarlet family. Whether you're running into the front panel or the back panel, when you plug into a line level input, you're actually bypassing that preamp. Now, having said all that, there is one case where you might run an external preamp, a character preamp, into the microphone level input, and that's if you can't get enough gain out of the onboard preamp in your audio interface. In that case, you can use the character preamp as sort of a boost to raise the microphone level up and get it up to a sufficient level that you have enough gain inside your audio interface to record the track. The only other thing to be aware of is when you connect your microphone, you want to be sure you're plugging into your character preamp. So the signal path is microphone to character preamp, character preamp output to line input on your audio interface. So is a preamp the only piece of gear you can use to add character to your signal? Absolutely not. You can do the same thing with EQs, with compressors, with other types of processors. Again, you're looking for transformers, you're looking for tubes, you're looking for circuitry that's designed to add that bit of character rather than transparency. So anywhere in the signal path or combine those units together to get even more character can allow you to really shape your tracks nicely on the way into your DAW. So as I mentioned, what I have here today is a Focusrite Scarlet 4i4 Gen 4. This is the latest generation of the Scarlet family. Fantastic interface with all new converters. They sound absolutely wonderful, super transparent. And I'm pairing it with the also brand new Golden Age Pre-73 Mark IV. Now this is the fourth generation of this preamp, and there are some differences here with the early generations. 
but it's based off of the super popular 73 style preamp that came out of Britain. This interface will allow you to record with clean transparency, but as you add more gain, you're adding more and more character because you're saturating transformers and so on. A big part of what gives the Pre-73 Mark IV character is this is actually a very vintage style circuit. It's all discrete component. There are no integrated circuits here. There's no surface mount components. We're using tantalum capacitors. And it also has transformer balanced inputs and outputs. And those transformers can really add character to your signal, especially as you push them hard. They start to saturate and they definitely add some signature character into your signal. The Pre-73 can give you up to 80 dB of gain. It'll accept microphone level, line level, or direct outputs from instruments like guitar or bass, which makes it very versatile, because that character preamp thing can certainly be used on microphones, that's where it's very common, but you could also apply it to a synthesizer that you're running through the preamp, or a guitar or a bass. On the back panel, we have an insert jack, and this makes it very easy to insert another processor into the signal path, maybe an EQ, maybe a compressor, and again, that's another place you can add even more character. With the insert point on the back of the actual preamp itself, it's very easy to put it into your signal path as you're tracking. The low Z switch here on the front panel allows it to select two different impedances for the input, 300 ohms and 1200 ohms. Depending on the microphone you're using, that can have a pretty dramatic effect on the sound quality. Two other things that help us shape the sound with this character preamp. First of all, we have a high pass filter and that has two different frequency settings or you can turn it off, of course, bypass it, of course. That allows you to take out rumble and low frequencies and shape that bottom end of the signal. We also have the air EQ control, and this affects the high frequencies. So we have two different settings or off for that as well, and that allows you to bring out the airiness, the very top end, the sibilance, the sparkle in your signal. So we can do some shaping right here in this character preamp. With 80 dB of gain, this preamp is compatible with pretty much any microphone without having to use an inline booster in front of it. It makes a great inline booster itself, of course, but with 80 dB of gain, we can run straight into that line input, no problem at all. So we have a stepped input gain control, and then we have a continuous output control for setting the level that's feeding into your audio interface. To give you an idea of what a character preamp does, I've got a Universal Audio SD1 dynamic microphone here. I'm running it into the input of the Scarlett 4i4, so we're going through that very transparent preamp. Got that turned up here, and I'm recording that into Pro Tools. So this is our clean, transparent version of the Universal Audio SD1. Now we'll switch over and record this same microphone through the Pre-73 Mark IV. So this is the Universal Audio SD-1 going through the Pre-73 Mark IV. Now I don't have any of the switches engaged at this point. You're hearing 70 dB of gain, so we're driving that input pretty hard, and it's to provide enough gain for this dynamic microphone. Now we can also shape the signal. We can switch our high-pass filter to 80 hertz. It's going to take out just the very low frequencies of my voice, or to 200 hertz. At this point, it's taking out quite a bit of the low frequencies in my voice. If we switch that back off, we can go to the air EQ. We can increase that by 3 dB. Check 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. You can hear that top end open up. Or we can boost that by 6 dB. And that adds quite a bit more top end to the microphone signal. So we could be using our high pass filter, take out some bottom end, add a bunch of top end there. We're adding character from the preamp by driving it pretty hard. We could drive the output harder if we like. So we can really shape the signal and transform it into something that's subtly different or very different from what's coming straight off the microphone. We can also flip the impedance on the microphone again from 300 hertz to 1200 hertz and you can hear how that affects the signal pretty dramatically different just changing that impedance selector with a dynamic microphone like this one of the best ways to add character recordings is with a character preamp select a microphone that gives you the sound you want match it up to a preamp that gives you the sound you want and you can really color your tracks in a way that's very desirable make them warmer make them brighter make them punchier give them that little bit of grit that little bit of edge all that can be done with a character preamp like this pre-73 mark IV from golden age if you have questions on character preamps or would like help navigating the many that are available to choose the perfect one for your applications, contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. They'll be happy to help you out. Or point your browser over to sweetwater.com. There are tons of preamps there that you can check out, learn a lot about the different types of character and things, and they'll get you on your way to choosing the perfect tones for your studio. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Sweetwater.